Hey, what's up, guys? It is the Slifer Slacker back at it with another deck profile. This time I've got a pure Salamancrate deck that doesn't run any hand traps. So let's get to it. Um, when I make my list, I try to avoid hand traps. I mean, personal preference. If you want to play them, play them. I still think that you can play the game without them. And um, let's just take a look at what we're playing here. So we've got three copies of Salamancrate Gazelle. Uh, really decent combo starter. I'm actually testing this out at three because it's not searchable. Um, let me rephrase that. It's not a salad, so it's not as searchable. Uh, but you can still pick this up with uh, side net mining. I'm on a playset of spinning. I'm on a playset of Salamangrate of Fire because I think that uh, beside... Um, besides this card being a level 2 and not 3, it is a near-perfect combo starter. If this had been 3, that would just kind of kick this up a notch, but I think it's pretty good. Uh, two copies of Foxy, because I'm kind of... Here's how I'm doing it. <clears throat> I'm looking at this as our main summon, our secondary normal summon. These are all special summons, so don't really have to worry about them. And then the extracurricular cards, we've got um, one Tiger, one Jack Jaguar... And one weasel. Um, not really playing much else because you don't really. I, I haven't found the need for any of the other ones yet. I'm sure you could, uh, you could try to play Falco, um, but I'm just kind of testing this right now. See how it goes. Um, that is going to actually do it for our monster count. Uh, this is a clean 40 card build. I don't really like to go outside of 40 cards. I mean, every once in a while I might just to test something, but. My standard builds are usually 40. Um, so you got a play set of Pot of Prosperity because I'm playing a lot of cards in the extra deck that we can pitch. I'm playing a play set of Sign at Mining. Uh, you could probably play this at two since we have Circle. Um, speaking of the Devil, we're going to play three Circle. Now, this is one of those decks where you have a Link 1 Field Spell Searcher. A lot of people tend to play one of those. I'm weird. I like to play two. Just because I feel like a lot of decks that rely on the field spell heavily rely on them. And if it gets destroyed, your game plan kind of falls off. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and actually play two of those. I'm on two Will the Salad. One copy of Called by the Grave. One copy of The Foolish Burial. One copy of Monster Reborn. One copy of Salaman Great Transcendence. And one Salaman Great charge and that is going to round it up for our spells and tr uh sorry our spells our traps are two copies of salaman great roar two copies of rage and one copy of revive you could probably cut like if you want to add hand traps realistically you just cut cut these down to one <clears throat> cut this down to one cut this down to one um i mean there's you, you could throw in a lot of non-engine here i just I really always try to make my deck around uh, the strategy and, you know, just actually play the cards that the, are made for the deck, um, which is actually has done pretty decent for me. Um, but all right, guys, off to the extra deck. So first, we got our beautiful token card. And I've just, I've got to say that the the um, secret rares from the, I think it's a quarter century duelist box. The tokens out of this are phenomenal, and I honestly would rather have these than the the tokens from um what like I think legend uh what is it legacy destruction we just got tokens out of that and there's the quality is shit compared to that um so just I like to run a character card just you know especially if it's a character uh if the deck I'm playing is a, an anime character um I've got two. Uh, what are these, Starlight Rare? Yeah, Starlight Rare, because this is the thing that they did before Quarter Century. I've got two Starlight Rare, Salaman Great Pyro Phoenix, one Heat Leo, two copies of Raging Phoenix, because you pretty much need two of each to make um, the monsters get their effects. Um, two Ghost Sunlight Rare, or Sunlight Wolf, 
That is kind of my the biggest downfall of Solomon Greats is the fact that you basically need two of everything in the extra deck to make them uh, have their effects. So, like, you need this to be summoned off of itself to make sense. Same with this one. Uh, Sunlight Wolf is just a really good card, so you don't need two um, because of that. But same with Bay Lynx. You don't really need two for that reason, but it is decent. Just to have two. Uh, I'm playing two Burst Griffin because, like I said, this is a pure salad deck. Uh, two Burst Griffin. Two Blaze Dragon, because same deal, they kind of need to be summoned off each other to make sense. And then Mirage Salio. So guys, that is going to be my 40 card pure salad list. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see combos, guys, like this video. Let's get this to 30 likes within 24 hours, and I will drop a combo video. Um, I've actually got some pretty decent uh, two card combos that end on uh, a four interrupt the board and the gate and next turn otk so guys if you if that interests you go ahead and like the video comment and definitely get this to 30 likes and i'll drop a combo video cypher slacker out